in this section we'll continue with our hsrp discussion like if you remember in our previous case we had discussed that when we configure a specific group or a virtual ip address and that virtual ip will be acting as a gateway and it will select any one as a primary gateway and any other gateway as a secondary gateway now when the primary gateway is forwarding a traffic the secondary gateway is not going to provide forward any traffic it's just a backup and in case if the primary gateway fails then only the secondary gateway will be utilized now there is one major disadvantage with this one is the secondary gateway is not at all utilized or not at all forwarding the traffic so uh, we want to ensure that we want to use both the gateways now both the gateways we cannot use at the same time but what we can do is we can anyway B hsrb do not support load balancing but what we can do is we can share the load between both the links by creating multiple groups now what I'm going to do is I have creating one group. Let's say I'm going to say standby group, group number one, one one. Now the red ones you can see this group. And for one one group, I'm going to say priority value is 120. So which means on the router one, the priority value will be 120 for group number one one. And then I'm going to track the interface. So same commands what we did. So which means for the group number one one, I'm going to say this router one is for group number one one this is primary which means automatically this will be the backup with a priority value of 150 I'm going to queue and here it is going to use the default priority value of 100 so which means here you can see I'm not going to configure any priority value which means it's going to take the default priority value and then I'm going to create one more group with a one more IP address so one more group you can see this one the next one is secondary group and in this group, the IP address of primary group is 192.161.50 and the secondary group will be 33 and for 33 group, this will be my primary and the, pri and the IP address will be 192.168.1.60 and then for 33 group, this will be my secondary and then again the similar type of configurations we can do like I can say 192.168.1.160 is IP, preempt, track interface and standby 33 priority value priority value is 120 something higher than higher than the default so i'm going to say priority value is 120 120 120 150 doesn't make difference any number as long as you're making it as 100 and i'm going to say that okay for 33 this is a primary now i have multiple hosts here in the lan so what i can do is i can tell some of the host in the lan like this host will be using the default gateway as 192.168.1.150 which means all the traffic uh, going to internet will be forwarded via the primary gateway and for the remaining set of host let's say if you have 100 host in the LAN for 150 host 50 users in the LAN will be using the primary gateway as 192.168.1.150 and the remaining 50 users will be using the default gateway as 192.168.1.160 so any anyone who is using the gateway as 192.168.1.60 will be forwarding the traffic from this side that is from router 3 anyone using the gateway address of 192.168.1.50 will be using this side so in this way we are ensuring that some of the users will use this primary gateway and the other as a secondary gateway and vice versa and in case if any one of the link fails, let's say this one goes down automatically all the traffic will be forwarded through the primary gateway so which means anyway that is something which happens by default so by doing this uh, small kind of optimizations we can ensure that our hsrp protocol can efficiently utilize both the links but you need to ensure that when you are doing this you need to have a very careful configurations like uh, you have to create two multiple groups two groups here we are going to create a group number one one and three three and for one group you have to make this as a primary this as a backup and the, for the second group this as a primary and this as a backup so in this way we can ensure that uh, we can have we can efficiently utilize both the links so when it comes to your uh, production networks you may have you can also have your layer 3 switch l3 switch as a gateway also so when it comes to l3 switch configurations which is which is also one of the most common implementations we have some users in the lan here and all the lan users will have svis so we have svi for vlan 10 and we have SVI for VLAN 10. So which means in our scenario, what we are going to do is we are going to create two SVI interfaces. So one SVI will be using 192.168.1.100. Just like we use over the routers, here we are using L3 switches, 192.168.1.200.
and then what we are going to do is we are going to apply the same configurations on SVI interface so like we did what is the command we used so VLAN 100 or VLAN 10 whatever it is we are going to say all the commands on standby 1 IP address standby 1 preempt standby 1 uh, priority value everything comes under the SVI interface rather than applying on the physical interface so if you are using multi-layer switches probably the configurations for inter VLAN routing so these are connecting to internet instead of routers so all your configurations comes on your SVI interfaces so that's the only slight changes you have and you will be having two SVI gateways that is two routers acting as your gateways like here L3 switches and we are going to create a virtual gateway out of these two and we can ensure that all the VLAN 100 traffic will go this as a primary and this as a backup now similar way if you have four VLANs let's say in your network now we are going to create four separate SVI gateways which means we are going to run a four separate HSRP instances for each and every SVI VLAN so when it comes to VLAN implementations if you have four VLANs we have four different types of HSRP configurations and you can say that okay VLAN 10 and 20 uh, use uh, switch 1 as a primary gateway and switch 2 as a backup and for VLAN 3040 you can configure switch 2 as a primary switch as a backup this way we can ensure that uh, some of the VLANs goes via primary switch the switch 1 and some of the VLANs uses the secondary switch so it's all about how you how you implement and configure uh, it's all about how you plan uh, the things as per your requirements